Uh, thank you very much for being well behaved and sitting down in uh, uh, good orderly fashion. Uh, my name is Matt Aldridge, I'm the CEO of Mango. Um, so welcome on behalf of all the Mango team to Earl 2015. I recognise some faces from last year and uh, I see lots of new faces as well. So uh, hopefully we're going to have a, a good couple of days. Um, some housekeeping to start. Um, this is an orange badge. Uh, the colour blind will struggle, no doubt. But uh, if you need anything whilst uh, you're here over the next two days, then these orange badges are the mango people. So if you uh, are struggling with how to find more coffee or uh, find some people to talk to, then uh, they'll be your best friends and uh, will do what they can. So uh, fire exits, I don't have to tell you about, apparently. So uh, we just jump in the Thames if there's a fire. <laughs> Um, if you are on Twitter and you'd like to uh, use uh, the hashtag, if you're going to talk about the conference, then please uh, use this hashtag. It was uh, lovely yesterday to see some pretty uh, amazing pictures of four workshops. Uh, on that count, uh, I'd like to say thank you to um, Joe, Dirk, Amy and Chris as well. Uh, the workshops, when I spoke to people last night, the workshops uh, seemed to go really, really well. A bit too busy perhaps. Uh, um, a bit too popular. That's uh, you lot having long weekends in London, I think. I'd like to thank our sponsors and exhibitors. We've got more than uh, last year, uh, so uh, we're really, really pleased to uh, welcome these people. I'd urge you all, there's some good giveaways out there. I've been round, I've uh, taken the best ones, but uh, please go and see these people. I think one of the things, uh, as I'll speak about later, is the range of, uh, of sponsors and exhibitors that we have. So it's not just a very narrow, broad range of people. <coughs> Tonight, uh, you can see a bus, just about. Um, so tonight, after trying to fire the guns on HMS Belfast last year, we're going to see if we can break some uh, high-intensity glass. So uh, we'll be jumping up and down on this tonight. There are some tickets still available, I believe. So if you haven't booked and you'd like to come along, uh, then please go and see Liz or Nikki on the mango stand. I wanted to briefly touch on some of the things that, that we're seeing at Mango um, in the R world. And I think uh, Mango was formed in 2002 when no one had really heard of R. Uh, and certainly putting it into a commercial world was very, very unlikely. Uh, we had a, a very brave customer, well, so brave, a uh, customer with no budget uh, in uh, the early 2000s who said, do you know what, we'll give it a go. And I think from those days it's been uh, absolutely incredible. What we're seeing today is the whole ecosystem of, of our changing as well. And I think some of the things uh, Joe will speak about later, uh, it's really evolving as to how people are using R and where it's being used. And we're seeing some big changes in uh, user communities, in terms of the people, the companies that are using it, and the way that you're trying to uh, deploy it to end users as well. Part of that is a move uh, that I, I hope you all saw uh, announced earlier this year uh, for an R consortium. One of the issues, uh, roughly, can people put their hands up? Do you go to use R? Okay, that's, that's about what I thought it would be. So use R, we've been going... Uh, since its inception and uh, it's a really good conference, uh, really enjoyable but it tends to be very very technical and there tends to be technical for the sake of being technical at times. And One of the reasons we started Earl was actually to have much more of a commercial feel of what companies are doing to actually use R and how they're using it. And the R Consortium aligns with that so uh, it's not trying to replace uh, the R Foundation at all, honest. Uh, um, so it's a group of companies that are looking to actually assist in the commercial use of R as it moves forward. And you'll see uh, some of the biggest names in, uh, in the IT world up there. So we're really pleased at Mango to be part of this and we think that uh, it's, it should be a good opportunity. 
So it's going to promote the R language in a, a number of ways. It's going to actually uh, start uh, creating and uh, advertising and uh, fulfilling some of the needs that we see in, in our commercial customers. The R Consortium has a board of directors, all very dull, um, but the parties they have, you should see it. Um, we're lucky enough uh, on these two days, one of them's just sneaked in the door, but uh, we've actually got three members. So this is your opportunity uh, today, as I understand it. If these three all vote for something, then that's it, yeah? That's how it works. So um, it is early days, uh, but uh, Richard, David and Lou are here, and they all assure me that they're desperate to hear uh, some of your ideas and feedback. They're looking for new projects, and they're looking for things that they can be doing to actually help you. Uh, so it, it is genuinely a, a good idea to, uh, to have a chat, make sure that they're going the right way for your organisation. One of the things that we see changing is uh, the, the user community. And I think when we think back to 2002 and the users of uh, S Plus as was that Richard and I used to try and sell to, very, very mainstream big companies were using uh, these tools. So you had a statistician feeding uh, non-statisticians their reports and you had big piles of paper at the side. When is it going to get done? Well, when the statistician decides sides. Today we're seeing an environment where everyone's a data scientist and what that means becomes actually quite difficult uh, to, to actually identify what that means and what it means for companies as well. And we've seen that broadening of numbers and data uh, throughout the industry. So new industries are coming along to R all the time. There's some really interesting companies sat in the audience today. And we're seeing the end users changing as well. So I don't know how many of you have got PhDs in stats, but it's not as many as would be sat here five years ago. So we're seeing a, a devolution, if you like, of uh, statistics and maths and numbers. And the two keynote speakers today, uh, in very different ways, are going to pick up on this. So uh, Joe yesterday had uh, his workshop, and the Shiny app is, uh, I think, um, beating everything in terms of how to deploy interactive and intuitive analysis. It's really, really fascinating because for years there was no real easy way of doing that, and uh, a lot of customers struggled with that. But first, we've got someone uh, who's going to talk about numbers and your favourite number. So Alex is a, a journalist and a writer, and he's also met Pele, so uh, autographs at the ready. So without further ado, I'd like to hand over to Alex. Thank you very much.